The IV sty has been invented by a nurse based in the Cornwall and Isles of Scilly Primary Care Trust in collaboration with MDTI. It was developed out of a need for a safe, hygienic securing device during some methods of IV therapy. Intravenous drip lines can be connected so that two sources of fluids both flow into one tube. This is known as a piggyback. With some traditional models of IV sets, the piggyback line may become disconnected because there is nothing to secure the junction of the two lines. This can cause risks to patients as administration of medication or fluids may be accidentally disconnected from their drip. If the needle pulls out, there is also a risk of needle stick injuries to anyone nearby. If the drip line is snagged or tugged, then the needle may pull out sharply, causing even greater risk. Traditionally, some nurses have overcome this problem by securing the parts around the join with clinical tape to hold the piggyback in place. However, this approach itself causes other risks, such as the needle flying loose when the tape is torn or cut to undo the piggyback, the risks to people or IV lines of using sharp blades or scissors to cut the tape, and the infection control issues in the taped up joint or adhesive residue. This situation created a need to develop a device to keep the piggyback in place that was itself safe to use and promoted best practice. The result is a simple plastic clip which attaches to the lines once they are connected and holds them together so that they cannot separate accidentally. First, connect the two IV lines as normal by pushing the needle of the secondary line into the piggyback port of the primary line. Using the V-notched end of the IV sty, clip the IV sty onto the secondary line behind the needle head barrel. Then simply clip the forked end of the IV sty onto the primary line. Do this immediately below the piggyback port on the part of the line leading to the patient. This will prevent the needle from coming out. Once correctly in place, the IV sty prevents the two lines from becoming disconnected, even if the IV set is moved, as will happen a lot in normal use. The IV sty can be simply unclipped back from the needle head to enable the secondary line to be removed. Note how it stays in place on the primary line, so that if a further secondary line needs to be connected, it is ready to anchor that line in the same way. The IV sty can be simply disposed of when the IV infusion program is complete. This simple yet practical innovation improves the reliability of IV systems and makes the healthcare environment safer for patients, visitors and staff. The IV sty is yet another example of how inventive people are in the NHS in their desire to improve healthcare. These sort of practical advances can only happen if NHS people have the confidence to voice their good ideas those good ideas receive active, enthusiastic professional support provided by NHS innovations teams and the NHS collaborates with capable commercial partners such as MDTI.